Recently, I had a chance to go to the entrepreneur seminar where I dove into my entire life and business to find out my motto. I've lost myself in the depth of the ocean and needed to find out the balance. I haven't shared much of my weakness in this channel, but I'm ready to share with you, so let's talk. I was born with serious eczema. Ever since I was born, up until the graduation of high school, I had suffered from it. It was my default to scratch my skin until it started to bleed. It was so hard to keep it under control. When I was little, I was hiding because I was so embarrassed of myself having this painful skin. 15 years was long enough to be traumatized and made me very introverted. I was always lacking in confidence. Because of that, I missed lots of opportunities I should have taken. Many of you ask me for my skincare routine, but I've never done it because I know there's no quick solution for skin trouble and can't be responsible for that. Don't get me wrong, I was grateful to receive that kind of comment. It encouraged me a lot, so thank you. Now that I'm almost 40, my son also has a sensitive skin because of the genetic reasons. So my job is to keep him away from suffering what I went through and for him to have a life with confidence. You might notice that I use lots of vegetables in my cooking, and that's because I've experimented on myself and tried a tremendous number of recipes in order to maintain my skin in a good condition without relying on medication. Now I know how to keep my skin under control, so it's mostly for my family's health. The point is, I've run this YouTube channel because I wanted to encourage those who are suffering from having confidence. As I cook more traditional Japanese cooking with lots of vegetables, I become more confident that I can control my skin condition. No one could imagine me starting YouTube channel showing off my face in front of the camera. I can finally confidently say, it's okay to be imperfect. I hope these words speak to someone in the world, especially for younger generations struggling to move forward. My recipe is not just recipe tutorials. There are lots more messages I wanted to deliver, which I've never shared in this channel. The other message is that the food is a lifeline. Food is what gives you energy, what creates the community like family and friends around you. I want my channel to be the place to remind you of peace and calmness through cooking. Nourishing yourself is simple but powerful. This led me to create membership where like-minded people help and inspire each other to cook more at home. I wish I had more English vocabulary, but I hope that you got the essence of what I'm trying to deliver in this channel. I don't usually talk about myself much, but by sharing this, my weakness, I hope that we can get closer to each other. Because you guys are the ones who gives me brave courage. So thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. I can't believe that it took me about three years to confess this. So next week, we'll go back to the usual recipe video. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot for staying this far. I appreciate it. So, mata ne. Bye bye.